talk to you today on some thoughts. I want to talk today about the spirit of life. Now when I talk about the spirit, I'm talking in the form about the Almighty God giving us his spirit in our lives. But I want to recognize there's other spirits that exist that all exist also. Amen. But I want to talk about how the spirit of life can affect your life. Amen. 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 Because we live we live in a world that there's a lot of spirits that are going on. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, we see that by what's operating in our world today. That's right. People just do whatever they want to do. When they want to kill somebody, they kill. Amen. And murder. They think of doing it in the skies of somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's right. But we really, really need to recognize that and we should not get uh, panically about it if, if we are grounded in the Word of God. Amen. You know that? Amen. Amen. Uh, Praise the Lord. The one spirit manifests itself. The almighty God's spirit manifests itself in many forms. The spirit of the Lord Jehovah. Spirit of wisdom, revelation, counsel, might, and knowledge, and the spirit of fear of the Lord. And God reveals itself in his word about how he operates. Amen. Amen. Spirit of Jehovah and the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, we could just deal with those. Uh, praise the Lord. And I could talk a little bit about how the spirit of Jehovah was uh, was prophesied that Jesus was going to be the Messiah. He brought into the world, uh, the earth, the very spirit in the hearts of his father, Jehovah God. He operated his as God in the flesh in the form, and praise the Lord, and he wanted to show us how to function. Amen. You know, in life, you need a pattern. That's right. You should have some kind of mentor, I hate to say it that way, to uh, pattern yourself out. Some have mentors that they pattern yourself out the wrong way and, and it gets them in a lot of trouble. Amen. 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 Then when you had a spirit of wisdom Christ brought that into existence or to show us that in his form when he came down. See, it was good that God sent his son in here to the world to show us how to operate. That's right. I, I, live, I, I live with visual contact, visual things. And if I see how things are functioning, I can operate like that. You know that? Yeah. That's just me. I want to be having examples so I can go mm -hmm. with. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He revealed this wisdom through action he gave to different enemies and why he walked in the land. You know, they, they tried to trap him all the way around when he was functioning. Uh -huh. But he always had a word for him. Always. And I guarantee you that if you live for God, God would always have always. a word for you. Always. So no one would ever trap you. Amen. Or embarrass you. Amen? Amen. Amen. I know that's true. And you should have experienced it already in your walk with Christ. Amen. He gives us a spirit of understanding. Amen. Uh, we, we read scriptures and we don't understand what's going on, but we stay with the scriptures, study them long enough. We will be able to listen to the word that's being presented to us and have a spot for God to, a place for God to talk back to us. God will reveal to us what needs to be done and say it. Amen. Is that not true? Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Praise the Lord. He used that with the woman who had committed adultery. Talked to her in her day and time in the New Testament. And he always had a word. But he did not put it in a way that was going to dim to the point where they go say, I can't do it. But he always put it in a way that they can come back to Christ. Whenever we present something to God, our individual, we should present it in a word that's not condemnatory to the point Amen. where it has too much negative and not enough that's positive right. involved. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. And that's what happened years ago when I was growing up. <laughs> yeah, praise the Lord. There's a lot of 
negative going on and no positive in return. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But they did the best they could do because they are what they followed. And That's you right. are a product of what you are coming out of. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I don't use that term too much. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when you learn the word of God, you'll learn how to operate like Jesus operated. And the way to understand how Jesus operates, start reading those four gospels over and over again until you get a gist of how he actually functioned. Amen. Amen. You know, we listen to a lot of people in different areas, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you should learn for yourself and know for yourself how the Bible operates. Amen. Too many of us trying to act like somebody else, and we got to be ourselves. That's right. Amen. Amen. He showed you how his, his spirit was in counsel, and how he showed King Solomon how to counsel people when they come to him with problems. Amen. 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 He showed you his might and how he had the capacity. He was omnipotent. Jehovah. Amen. Showing you how he was mighty and everything. And see, God has not lost any of his power. He still power as he was then. Amen. But we kind of put him on a bottle or uh, put him in a seatbelt to think God can't do what he used to do. God can still do the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. He gave you knowledge. Uh -huh. When you need word and knowledge about different things, he can still do the same today as Praise he did in the days Lord. of old. Praise the Lord. And then he is the God, the spirit of fear of the Lord. You should learn how to reverence him and respect him. Respect is not there too much anymore with a lot of people. Because you say, why is that? By the way they act. Amen. And how they treat others. Is that true? Amen. Yeah. Amen. So God wants you to know that I am the same yesterday and today and forevermore. Amen. 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 And this spirit of life that I want to talk about is a spirit of living and have longevity and health with it. Amen. And I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. Go to Romans, the second cha the eighth chapter, the two, second verse. Praise the Lord. The spirit of life. We should have life in our life. Amen. Is that true? Amen. Sin and death have laws. Paul does not did not say that they have a spirit, but they I think he must have have commandments of the spirit around them. The spirit of life uh, are, are laws of sin and death is operating and it's real. Is that Amen. right? Amen. So much mess going on now and day right. that it looks right. like everything is falling apart. Uh huh. It's not falling apart. Amen. I am not in the illusion about what's going on now at all. I see what's operating, but I don't have to operate with it. Amen. Same is true about you. Somebody said, we're going to hell in a handbasket. We ain't going to hell in a handbasket. If you choose not to go to hell, you won't go to hell. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. <clears throat> when I was coming along years ago, that uh, somebody to put a hex on me. <laughs> and I was a young man then, in my 20s, 28. And somebody, I heard somebody gonna try to pull a hex on me. Well? A spirit, that's a spirit. Uh-huh. And you know, if you are uh, succumb to it, you'll give in to it and it'll overtake you. Uh-huh. But God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the power of love yes. and a sound mind. Can't nobody hex me. Praise the Lord. Can't nobody curse me. Amen. Can't nobody hex you or curse Praise you. The Lord. Is that the right? Lord. Amen. Amen. In Romans the eighth chapter, the second verse says, The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. I'm free from the law of sin and death. Uh-huh. And there are some laws involved with sin and death. We'll deal with that a little bit. Life is not an accident. You would just, just happen to be born. You was born for a purpose and a reason. Amen. Life is governed by a set of laws. That's right. These laws are set in place by Jehovah. And they cannot be overturned. Amen. And that's good news. Is that right? Amen. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. The entire universe is governed by a set of laws. That's right. Well, let's look at one. The law of gravitation. Amen. 
If you try to break these laws, you will break your body. Amen. You fall on a plane. <clears throat> you don't have no wings to fly. Is that right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Did I bring my, my water bottle? I think I did. This is mine here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You come, you drop down a plane with no kind of jet, <laughs> propeller, you'll fall. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. You break that law, you're going to pay the consequence for it. Amen. In Romans, the sixth chapter, the 16th verse says, Did you know, or do you know, that to whom you present yourself slaves to obey, you are that one slave whom you obey? Whether it is of sin leading to death or obedience that leads to righteousness. And people don't realize that. You present yourself to the devil, and the devil going to take you on a ride. That's right. Amen. Ah, oh, shit, I don't believe no devil. That's all right. Go ahead, my friend. Believe like you want to believe. Praise the Lord. Amen. But whoever you put yourself to or obey, there's a consequence for it. Amen. Amen. I choose to obey the Almighty God. Praise the Lord. Before I served him, I was obeying the devil. Didn't realize, but I was doing it. Amen. did everything I thought I was big enough to do at that time. It wasn't that much, but it, what, it, what it was, it was enough to mess me up. Amen? Amen. Somebody prayed for me. My mother, she prayed. Not only prayed, but she directed me in the right direction. Amen. <laughs> And it's your responsibility to direct your kids in the right direction. That's right. So that when they come to knowledge of the Lord, they'll accept Him and go forward with it. Amen. The law of the spirit of life in Romans the 8th chapter, 2nd verse says, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. God's way, when I accepted Him, set me free. Amen. If any man be in Christ, he's a yes. what? He's a new creature. Old things pass away and they will come. All things become new, right? Amen. Amen. When we got saved, the Bible says, Romans the sixth chapter and nineteen verses, I speak in human terms because the weakness of your flesh, for just as you present your members to as slaves of uncleanness and and, and lawlessness, leads more to lawness. So now present your members as slaves to righteousness for holiness. We got the can't help them. <laughs> we did everything we was big enough to do before we got saved. Is that right? Amen. Go out, stay out. Now I didn't stay all night because I had a mother that kept me in tech. But then when I come to age, I listened to what she said do, and I didn't want to go out. Didn't do no going out. <coughs> Because I was already trained to keep myself together. And sometimes you get hooked out there and can't get back in for a long time. Amen. Amen. That's a spirit. That's right. Amen. Amen praise the Lord. Amen. He said, I don't believe in it. That's all right. Don't believe in it. Then they had this character out to cast the ghost made it look like it was really all right. Now the devil gets you out there, man, he'll mess all over you. That's right. One time I was, uh, when I first started working, I had uh, worked as one place. And uh, they said, uh, they're doing some crap shooting. I didn't know they called it crap shooting. I just said, playing with this stuff. I was how naive I was. They had some dice. It's crap shooting. Threw it out there and throw it, get six, somebody, six something. And, uh, you're good. That was good. They go the eyes, snake eyes. They got another thing up there. I didn't know too much about it. Didn't stay around it much to get involved, but you could get involved easily. I see myself drawn in at a young age. I said, I ain't gonna mess with this. They was playing a little money. I'm gonna keep my money for myself. I had that much common sense. <laughs> they tried to lure me into it. Shucks. <laughs> I was only about 18 years old then. They trying to lure me in it. Then they said, you know what? We're going to get you together here. I said, I said to them and said to the place of the fire department, as I come, so shall I leave. Well, praise the Lord. I made a commitment. I made a stand. That was a spirit. 
That was a command inside of me said, as I come, so should I leave. Praise the Lord. You're not going to take me. That was before, oh, uh, Hammer says, can't take this? Is that what he said? Amen. Can't stand this, whatever. I made that declaration then what I was going to do at a young age. See, it don't matter how old you are, how young you are, you That's can right. take your stand. Amen. Right. Amen. You don't want, you may just be ignorant of everything, but take your stand. Amen. And God will honor your stand. Amen. Amen. A spirit. Everything weighs by a spirit. That's right. Amen. Amen. Laws, life and death uh -huh. is a spirit. Praise the Lord. Is that right? Amen. The battle of the law in Romans 8, 7, chapter 23rd verse says, But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity the law of sin which is in my body. That's heavy, isn't it? Amen. I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind. See, there's a war going inside of you uh -huh. to choose right and wrong, uh -huh. left and right. Praise the Lord. But you got to learn to weigh it and then do something about it. Amen. Amen. Do, I, do I will to do this or do I will not? When I was in grade school, they had an old book that says, think, then do. You got to learn to think it out before you do it. Uh-huh. Amen, praise the Lord. Praise I learned Lord. that in a, in a young age, well, six, seven years old, whatever it was at the time. Think, then do. There's a consequence if you don't think it out before you do it. Uh -huh. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Think about it before you do it. <coughs> you always been right. Amen. You don't think it out before you do it. Praise the Lord. You end up in a lot of trouble. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I say, I know that's right. You got a gal there in one state <coughs> that wanted to get his career continuous going, as they say. And he plotted something out. And now he's got to suffer the consequence. Amen. Hey Amen. Don't get so greedy you got to do things wrong to get ahead. That's right. That's right. Hey Amen. Praise the Lord. I stay above the board, but I don't tell you exactly what's going down because everybody's listening there. Amen. But learn. To think it out before you do it. Man learns through the abstract aspect of his personality. Man learns by walking, seeing, speaking, feeling, smelling, hearing. Is that right? Uh -huh. That's where your kids learn. Amen. Uh, you know, I, we got those grandkids now and they do the same thing. It just, it's, it's amazing how they do Amen. things. Amen. The other day, boy, they start word, saying words that it should be saying when they're about 10 or 12. They learn how to say those words already. Amen. 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 But a person learns to walk. <coughs> we know that by our own kids as your kids. Praise the Lord. Amen. They learn to walk. And the more they walk, the better they get. I yeah. remember my little yeah. grandchild started walking. Man, he's falling over everything. But when he <laughs> took off, it was history. <laughs> Amen. I remember my kids when they was there. That's been many years ago. 30 some odd years ago, how they learned to walk and they, they stumbled around here and got up and moved around and walked again and started. I told one of them, say, hey, by that other time, another girl get, bo, bo, person gets home, you need to learn how to walk. And my God, they understood what I said. They started walking. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. People say, that's cruel. That is not cruel. I treated my kids right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. People are crazy anyway. You know that? Amen. You gotta talk to your kids. You don't have to uh, abuse them or nothing like that. Talk to them. They'll understand. I tell you who understand. We got a couple of coat dogs. One called Rocky and one called <laughs> Zoe or Coe or whatever her name is. <coughs> and one called Lady. And those dogs understand what you're saying. Amen. If a dog can understand what you say, what about a human being? Amen. Amen. I don't understand. I went to a place where this lady, they was teaching her in Sunday school, and I'm, I'm, I'm reading on what the word says here, praise the Lord. And the teacher, the Sunday school teacher was up there teaching them, breaking everything down, and she waited to the pastor comes and said, I don't understand what he's saying. There's a spirit involved there, praise the Lord. Uh -huh. You got to recognize those spirits. Amen. But someone breaks down the word at the finest points, or even fool me not to hear something's wrong with you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. 
Man, person learns how to hear. The more he hears, the more knowledge he obtains. Uh -huh. Amen. Because what you hear does affect you. Right. Is that right? Amen. As well as what you eat. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one, I was telling you this one preacher when he was riding down the highway going to the church. I said, you know, you are what you eat. He like hot dogs. <laughs> and uh, he turned around and looked at me. And he understood what I was saying. Amen. Praise the Lord. The more a person sees, the more he learns. Amen. That's why it's good to read and understand what you're reading. You're gonna, you can go all the world, be in your own living room. Amen. By reading all kinds of books. That's Is that right? That's right. I'm still talking about the spirit of life. Praise the Lord. These things bring life to your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. The more a person speaks, the more his mind is developed. The more a person feels, the greater the intensity in life. Amen. You're not just a bubble right. in a goldfish. You have the horizon. They tell me, I don't know how true it is, but the fish is only grows to his environment. When he gets out to the sea, it just blows up. Amen, praise I never threw nothing out in the sea and watched him come back. But that's what they tell me, praise the Lord. It's like to tell you about what's going to happen 2,000 or uh, 17, uh, two, uh, 700 years, 7,000 years away. We're not going to be around. Uh -huh. But we're taking it and run. Is that right? Uh -huh. this, this, happened, this is going to happen 7,000 years from now, and we're taking it and run on with it. We don't know. We just accept what they say. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But you are what you hear. You are what you feel. Amen. The more a person smells, the more easily he can identify what kind of fragrance of life there is. Uh huh. You can, you know, you can identify. I can tell when I'm cooking some, 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 some cornbread and, and, and greens and a little hamburger. I know what that is. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You know what it is too when you're cooking pot roast. You know what that smells like. The, your senses, your senses are, are developed. Is that right? Amen. The more you smell things, the more you know what's going on. That's what it's about anything else in life. Amen. And the more you get turned on to God, the learn the more you learn his MO. Amen. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. The perfect law of life. Go to James, the first chapter, the 25th verse. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty uh -huh. and continues therein, it and is not forgotten, uh, and is not a forgotten hearer. But a doer of the works, this one will be blessed in whatever he does. You can't forget what you hear Amen. with the word of God. The word of God will affect you in every life. Amen. Is that right? This is what it says again. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues therein it is not forgotful here <coughs> and being not forgotful here, but a doer of the word. This one will be blessed. In what he does. Stick a pen there, praise the Lord. <clears throat> my, my son talks to me quite a bit. I pick him up from work and we talk about it a little bit. He said one person just got out of high school just a few days, maybe a couple years, and they've got everything to learn. I said, well, you know what's wrong with that? They just memorized it long enough to get the score on the test. Amen. And they went on about their business. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. People do enough just to get by. And when they get out, they forget everything. Amen. You only retain so much anyway, but my God, you should return the basics. Amen. The core of it. Amen. But the Bible says, but he who looks in the law, perfect law of liberty and continues there in it and is not forgetful to hear him, but doers of the word. This one will be blessed in whatever he does. What good is it to hear the word of God Sunday and Sunday out and not do it? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We need to learn the word of God so we can be a, a, a student of it. That's right. And then abide by it. We live by it and the word will work for us. Amen. 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 Jesus is inside of us. We got the word. Because the Bible said the Spirit became flesh uh -huh. and dwelt among us. 
we got the spirit, the word inside of us, we'll begin to walk like Jesus. Praise the Lord. They taught in the book of Acts, they like they act like Christians. Christ-like folk. They walk like it, they talk like it. You know, people like it. In some places they try to emulate the individuals they admire. Everybody got a mentor. Why can't we be a mentor like Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Why can't we act like him? You don't have to be super spiritual. He wasn't no super spiritual person. Amen. He ain't with the thieves. Amen, praise the Lord. All those low-lying people. But he talked to them right. And they came into him. Amen. 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 People, I watched this one little... I shouldn't say it because they say I watch it quite a bit too. <laughs> Amen. Anyway, <laughs> praise the Lord. There's one couple on there. She's so super spiritual. Oh, boy. Back in the 1800s, she's so super spiritual. I don't mind. She condemns everything. But they had one episode on her about a boxer. <laughs> I like that one. And this boxer, he, he was training to go and box. And if he won the prize, he's going to build a church for his community. And the woman didn't find that out. She was talking to her husband. Oh, we can't have that person in our, in our house because the kids look down on him. They, they, they start acting like him. And so she was going to go out and tell him about herself. And in the midst of it, he was out there in the barn. He began to quote a scripture and start preaching. And God said this, and God said, that's kind of a message she likes to listen to, but it was strange coming out of this preacher's uh, fighter's mouth. And if she listened to what he said, she got a new perspective on life. Because when you look at a person, you can't judge, judge him the high looks. Amen. 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 You cannot, the old saying is, you cannot uh, do something about, uh, you cannot know what a monkey's eating by working of his jaws. I'm not calling that man a monkey. No, God help me on that one. Amen. But this guy appeared to be just a fox, a boxer. And he always stabbed boxers and people that can't think anyway. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when she heard him start preaching the word of God, that woman come under subjection. Amen. Amen. And then her friend, she's she's just bad as she was. You know, you got these super spiritual people so bad they just they, everybody's bad. You don't fall in line with their pedigree or their rules and regulation, you go in the hell handbasket. Amen. But when they found out that this guy was behind trying to get this money to build a church. When he lost the fight, they all surrounded him and helped him out, and they got the money together and built the church. And the money to start the church up. What I'm saying, I'm saying all this, you got to watch what you say, what you do. My grandfather used to say, you better mind how you watch. You better mind what you talk about. Because you got to give a day in the judgment for all what you say. Amen. He used to have a guitar, one of those Houston guitars, and he sang it so I'm strang it. You better mind. You better mind. You know, I, I learned that when I was a young age. Listen to that. And it comes back to me all the time. You better mind how you watch. You better mind how you talk. Because you got to give a day in judgment for everything you talk about. You better mind. Little sharp man. Praise the Lord. About my grandfather. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says in James, the first chapter, 25th verse says, But he who looks into the law of perfect law of liberty and continues therein, it is not forgetful here and not a forgetful here. Don't forget what you hear. For what you hear does affect you, both good and bad. Amen? Amen. Amen. And do it. Don't just hear it, but do it. A lot of people come to church and they hear the word, but don't do a thing about it. Why you say that, preacher? Because they don't act like they heard it. They still the biggest hellish person there is. Uh -huh. You got to wear kid gloves talking to them. Uh-huh. It shouldn't be. We shouldn't have to wear kid That's gloves right. talking to no one around That's here. Right. Amen. The Bible says in, the, in, 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 in Corinthians, when I was a child, I, was, I act like a child. Amen. But when I became a man, <laughs> when I grew up, I put away childish things. Amen. I was in a church place all one time. Well, they, this person never grew up. Old, seasoned, moss-backed person. Uh -huh. Never grew up. That's 
When you come to church, she had a certain pew that she sat in. If you was in that pew, she wants you to put a roll her eyes at you till you move. One time a person uh, 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 got on, got to use her, her P, or uh, what do you call that old thing here? That old tambourine. Oh my God, you thought you made a cardinal sin. People don't grow up no more. Amen. 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 If everybody had a uh, hand with kid gloves, you, you should be growing now. You ain't no spiritual runt. Amen. Amen. They must be a doer of the words that they heard. Jesus, I'm a man, but he didn't take no man. Amen. You can be a humble person, don't take no man. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. And when they when you when they see you stand up for your right and say, you, are you are you you got a toothache? Are you you upset? <laughs> no. I said, I want you to treat me right. One lady put her bony finger in my face one time at work. And I said, she said, she's talking to those guys, and, and she turned around and talked. John, did you did you hear what I said? I composed myself. The spirit inside of me composed me. Because the other spirit was trying to say, knock her out. <laughs> and I could have gave vent to that and say, in the name of Jesus. But that would have done. That would have sufficed. But I settled myself because these guys are watching me when she was doing that. The guys that I one on one with. I let her walk back up to the plane office, sat down a few minutes. I sat back where I was for a few minutes. Then I went up to the office, composed myself. I learned how to train myself because in the time passed, I'd holler right at her. I got back up there with my mom, all the staff, and I told her, I said, Don't you ever in this life ever point your bony finger at me about something. You hear me? She just looked at me in days like deer in the headlights. I said, nobody does it to me. I ain't taking it out of nobody. I don't care who you are. Amen. And then she said, uh, John, are you right? I said, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> How you doing? And I went back down to my room. And everybody got quiet. Because they never see that in me because I talk small, I talk soft. Amen. There comes a time you gotta stand up for your that's rights. Right, that's right. Don't let nobody disgrace you. Amen. Put you down. Amen. You know you. Amen. I'm 25 and some. I was more than some then. But I wasn't gonna let no one talk to me like that. Amen. Oh, you gotta humble you. No, it's time to speak up. That's right. Jesus didn't do it. Why should I do it? Amen, praise the Lord. Amen. Getting back to the wall of prayer. That's all in that spirit uh, of hearing and doing it. Don't forget about it. The law said, live peace with all men. Is that right? Amen. Live peace with all men. We got to live peace with all men. That's right. At church as well as in the community. That's right. But don't let nobody mess all over you. Amen. Amen, praise the Lord. Know your rights. Because if they mess with you one time, you continue to mess with you. In Proverbs the sixth chapter, the I mean, sixth verse. Oh, correction. Proverbs the sixth chapter, the twenty third verse. The commandment is lamp. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law a light. Reproof and instructions are a way of life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We know we gotta live in this world with light, uh, with laws. Is that right? Amen. We we're not back in the old days where everybody had a well. They tried to do it now, day. Everybody's got guns on them now, but we're not living that daytime. You gotta watch what people say. Amen. I mean, person parking in a a, a a handicap zone and somebody getting all upset with that. He ain't even handicapped. He's taking things in his own hand. We got fools out there. That's what they are, fools. Amen. Amen. We live in a land where everything goes now and then. Amen. You better pray. When we pray, things go our way. Can praise someone say praise the Lord? Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. I believe in that, praise the Lord. I believe that if you don't pray, things won't go according to the way it's supposed to go. Amen. 
You burn Satan's power and his, right. all his activities when you get ready to go places and things will operate according Praise to the way he's supposed to operate. I take nothing for granted. Amen. Every time I walk out the door, I already talk to the Lord about things. Amen. If I forget, I'll talk to him in the car. Lamp. Or in the old well, the commandment is a lamp. Praise the Lord. And the law, a light. <coughs> and instructions are the way of life. You read the word of God, it'll shine light into your life. Amen. You know that? Amen. The more you read about the word of God, it'll shine a light into your life. You won't be dark until all the time. Uh -huh. You find that there is good. Praise the Lord. It is good to be good. Amen. It is good to read the word. For the word is a light <coughs> to your life. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. In, in Psalms uh, uh, 19 and 7, the law, uh, the life of perfect. In the Psalms 19 and 7 says, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Testament of the Lord is sure and make wise the simple. The word can turn you around and save your soul. Amen. Amen. I know that's right. The more I heard the word before I got saved, it took care of me until I got saved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know that? It wasn't by chance I, I invaded all kinds of accidents. <coughs> but it's by the good and mercy of God Amen. that watch over me and protect Praise me. The Lord. It was not by chance that your family evaded this accident or, or death. That's right. But by the goodness and mercy of God because Praise some Lord. word was planted in your heart. Praise the Lord. Seed had germinated completely yet. Yeah. But it was down there. Oh, can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law and the Lord is word is perfect. Amen. It's not to be disputed. It's real. Amen. It's still as powerful as was. When it first was created. When he said let there be. And it came about. Because the word was powerful. Amen. Amen. When the law word came in your life. When you're reading about in, in the word about from in Genesis to Revelation. It's still powerful. Praise the Lord. People said this all. Oh, it ain't there no more. I wish I had lived back. In, I don't wish about living in the days of old. I'm thinking God where I'm at right now. Praise the Lord. What about you? Amen. The word is still Amen. powerful. Amen. It's still coming in the spirit of life. God has brought life to our life. Yes. Catch someone that praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. In Jeremiah, it's one of my favorite books. The Lord's hand of life is fire. Oh, this is heavy here. Therefore, the Bible says in the fifth chapter of Jeremiah, the fourteenth verse. Therefore, thus said the Lord, God of hosts, because you speak this word, behold, I will make my word in your mouth fire. This people would, and it shall devour them. When we talk about God's word, God's word is it's like if God was there present. Amen. Amen. And we're his mouthpiece. And God will shoot the word out. When he gives it to me, I shoot it out. That's like God sitting right here now, talking. That's how powerful it is. Praise the Lord. Somebody said, like fire shut up in my bones, but this can't speak. Can someone say praise the Lord? Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. The law, the law of life produces something. Uh huh. Listen to what Luke 6, chapter 38, verse says. Give and it shall. Y'all hear that? Remember that scripture? Praise yeah. the Lord. Amen. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will I put in your bosom. For with the same measure that you use it, it will be measured to you again. That's powerful. Amen. The spirit of life. God's bringing life to your life. When you hear that word, every time you hear that word, he's bringing life. Praise life to Lord. what? In your pocketbook. In every area of your life. You know Amen. that? Amen. Give and it shall be given. I can just hear him saying it right now. Praise you know, Lord. I, I listen to a lot of movies and they have all oh God in the real fart teddy. Watch. Give <laughs> and it shall be given you good measures. Press down, shake together, and running over shall men give you a bosom. With the same measure me. That you use, it should mess you again. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Having the spirit of life, praise the Lord. God has given us life. Amen. When we recognize it and do it, people look at us and say, something's different about him or her. 
I had people say that to me about several occasions. I'm in different areas. Why are you in here? Something different about you. And these people around here. Amen. Amen. Some people flatter with that, but hey, well, you know you're different. Amen. You don't condone everything that happened. That's right. You don't wear a sign on your back saying, I'm saved. Praise the Lord. No, you don't have to do that. Amen. Your attitude, your disposition. You don't have to stub your nose down to nobody. That's right. Respect people. And people will start respecting you. Amen. They'll call you sir, ma'am. Amen, praise the Lord. Or they don't have to call you that, just call you by your name, but give you respect when you do when you're with them. Is that right? Amen. They can feel the spirit of life within you. Because you got God as it oozes out. You know you got God's word, the more it oozes that. Praise the Lord. I know that's right. I know that's right. Hey Amen. I used to, years ago, I used to go with a girl in a certain area. Hey Amen. She was trying to prove to me that she was saved. You don't prove to nobody you saved. Amen. That shows me you ain't saved. That's right. You know that? That's right. When somebody trying to prove to you that they got a lot of money, they, ain't, they don't have no money. A person really got money, don't say, I got a lot of money. A person that's educated, they don't tell you, I'm really educated. Right. <laughs> you show you show yourself when you start talking like that. Amen. I know that's right. Can Amen. someone say praise the Lord again? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. The law of sin and death versus the spirit of life. That's what we battle. The unconverted lives under the law of sin and death. That's just what we try our best to minister the word of God. They live under the law of sin and death. Uh -huh. Everything they do is death. Uh -huh. Death. And they wonder why things are happening the way they are. They're controlled by the system. The system has controlled a lot of people. Amen. And they can't get out. Amen, praise the Lord. They may have a whole lot of money, but they can't get out. They're in a system. Nothing makes them happy. Uh -huh. Amen. The more money they make, it still does not make them happy. Amen. Amen. All the degrees they have, it doesn't make them happy. That's right. People say, well, if I get this degree and I get that degree, they'll respect me. They don't respect you no more than they respect you when you didn't have nothing. Amen. I was around a, a preacher. said, you know, they respect the cost of you. They don't respect. If you don't, hey, if you don't show yourself in the word of God to be respectful, ain't nobody ever going to respect you. Amen. You can demand respect by how people treat you. You know that? People Amen. respect you or treat you like <laughs> they want to treat you when you don't demand respect. Amen. I care less what people say. You don't sound like a preacher. I don't care what you say I'm sound like. You don't dictate to me what I'm supposed to be like. Amen. Amen. When I first came over here, they always talked about that. You don't sound like some brother, sister. You don't tell me what I'm supposed to sound like. Amen. You don't dictate to me that way. As I come, so shall I leave. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you don't like it, don't come around here. That's right. Simple as that. Simple as that. Oh, people shriveled up in their body when I said that. Brother, let me try to get some people. Hey, I know what a brother is going to act stupid and ignorant around me. Amen. You don't detect me and tell me what I'm supposed to act like. That's right. I know who I am. I'm a, a child of God. Amen. Because I don't come in the form you think I should come in. That's irrelevant to me. Amen. I'm not going to conform to your ways. You're going to conform to God's ways. Amen. Is that right? Amen. There is a spirit that looms in the world. We got to learn to know the spirit of God. Amen. And as we are overflowed with God's spirit in our lives, we'll be happy. They're the most rejoiceful people in God's world when you conform to God's way. Amen. And not somebody else's way. I think in this life with us, it's a wonderful life to share that God is the answer to the world today. God wants us to live the abundance but we can only live it according to his ways amen amen praise the lord is that true 
Amen. Amen. For it's only what you do with Christ is going to last. I hope you got something out of this word today. My Father, we thank you for these who are here. I pray that Sunday was said that would encourage us to go further, to be endowed from the power from on high, to speak life to our lives, knowing that only what we do for Christ will last. Oh God, we look to you today and thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I pray that Sunday was said to encourage us and if there's one that don't know you today, I ask you to look at them and touch their hearts. And they would just say, Father, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of my iniquities. I want to serve you so you may have life in my life. 